In this video, I'll talk about five symptoms of gum disease in dogs and a bad breath remedy. And later, how feeding your dog a healthier kibble diet reduces bad breath in dogs while solving other chronic health problems linked to bad dog breath. Hi, I'm Dan Scott, canine nutrition and home remedy specialist. And if you're new here, hit the subscribe button below to stay in touch with all the latest videos that I do. And feel free to comment or ask questions below. What makes a dog's breath smell so bad? And is this normal? Bad dog breath isn't normal and a sign of an unhealthy mouth. Most likely, if you take a good look at your dog's teeth and gums, you may notice red and swollen gums and tartar build up, and this is causing the smell. Left untreated, gums and teeth in poor condition can lead to life-threatening health problems throughout the body. Your dog, just like the kids, needs oral care daily, and this is something that very few dog owners either know about, care about, or take seriously. Gum disease in dogs has been researched to be one of the leading causes of chronic disease throughout the body. The simple reason for this is as the gum pockets open up from gingivitis plaque and the daily effects of trapped kibble food particles, and no, kibble does not clean teeth regardless of bogus claims from pet food manufacturers, the teeth begins to lose the battle to gum disease and bacteria can easily make its way down to the root of the tooth and into the bloodstream that feeds the gums. And from here, that same bacteria is now free to roam the entire body and cause disease anywhere it likes. If your dog is in a generally delicate state of health with a low immune system, not able to easily fight off bacteria, then chronic disease will develop sooner or later. So what are the symptoms of poor health? If your dog suffers any of the following external examples, their immunity to disease is low. Yeast infections, skin disorder like mange, excess ear infections, excess allergies, staph, worm outbreak, hot spots and so on. A bulging red flare line above the teeth where the gum line meets the teeth along with foul breath. Dull, greasy or smelly coat. Gets diarrhea often. Has had antibiotics three times or more in the last 12 months. It's been researched that 85% of dogs by age 2 have gum disease requiring immediate attention. So poor oral condition in dogs is common and I'll discuss a solution to the underlying cause a little later. But first let's look at how we can fix the condition going forward. How to recover your dog's teeth and gum health, have fresh breath and boost their immune system at the same time. The first thing to do is check your dog's teeth and gum health. Healthy gums and teeth will look like the following. Teeth are white with minimal yellowing towards the gum line. The gum tooth interface forms a smooth unbroken line with no pockets, red flare line or bulging gums where the gums meet the teeth. The gums are salmon pink in colour. Unhealthy teeth and gums look like the following. Teeth are yellow and generally discoloured. There's plaque and tartar along the base of the teeth that separates the teeth from the gums. There's a red flare or bulging line where the gum meets the teeth or even an open and inflamed oral cavity. The gums are red and swollen. The gums may be bleeding. The first remedy proven from many studies to be highly beneficial is neem leaf and bark powder, nature's teeth and gums and fresh breath rejuvenator. The bark and leaves of the neem tree are usually ground into powder and used for internal healing while the more potent oil extract is used externally. I've researched the effects of using neem leaf and bark extracts and powder for rejuvenating dog's teeth that have become infected, suffering gum disease, gingivitis, covered in hard plaque and tartar, or having bleeding gums and just plain rotten teeth. And this includes the often foul doggy breath that goes with these conditions. The very first plan of action to getting your dog's teeth and gums healthy is that if any of the teeth are rotten, abscessed or loose, book your dog in for a full scale and polish to get the teeth fully cleaned up. Your vet will advise if any extractions are needed for teeth that cannot be saved. The second thing to do once you have your dog booked in to have their teeth cleaned is to purchase a dog toothbrush and the neem bark powder. The third thing to do is to set up a schedule of regular teeth cleaning three times each week right after your dog's teeth have been professionally cleaned and stick to it religiously. You won't have to do it daily but aim to brush your dog's teeth every second day ongoing. The benefit of using neem to clean your dog's teeth is that you won't have to do it daily because the neem will clean up the bacterial buildup from the previous day. And this is more convenient than the daily hassle of brushing with regular chemical based pastes containing controversial fluoride, SLS and other chemicals. And studies and thousands of years of traditional use of neem for cleaning teeth have shown that neem prevents and heals gum disease, prevents cavities, eliminates bacteria that cause cavities and inflammation in gums, prevents bacteria from sticking to teeth, 
reduces plaque, freshens up the breath, and prevents the cause of chronic disease through the body from cum disease. The studies used mainly neem leaf powders and extracts in their research, and interestingly, the neem leaf is not even the most effective neem product for dental care purposes. It's the neem bark that is the most effective. But product manufacturers don't want to use bark in toothpaste because that would make it brown. And the public isn't educated enough to accept such a product. It needs to be white. However, your dog could care less. So that's good for you, the dog owner, because it's the neem bark we want our dogs to get the best benefits. If you're feeding a raw food diet with many bones, then probably you've got this covered. But if you're feeding a kibble or canned food diet, then cleaning your dog's teeth is a must. The good news is that you don't have to do it daily. Three times a week is probably enough, so let's be thankful for Neem's ability to pick up on the days off and fixing everything up in the mouth naturally while freshening up your dog's breath at the same time. The added bonus is that neem bark powder is amazing for protecting and detoxifying the liver, antioxidants to combat aging, promoting healing of gastrointestinal health issues, helping with stomach issues, controlling intestinal worms, and boosting the immune system. Sprinkle a pinch on your dog's food, small pinch for small dogs, larger pinch for larger dogs, for digestive and immune system support. And for teeth and gums, you can buy some dog-specific toothpaste and a toothbrush or simply add some neem bark powder to a little smooth peanut butter or coconut oil and brush the teeth. Raw coconut oil also acts as a wonderful canine toothpaste because it has antiviral, antibacterial and antifungal properties. Plus most dogs love the taste. You can use a brush or simply mix up a little coconut oil with the neem powder and simply use your fingers and rub it over the teeth and gums. Job's done. Get into the habit and you and your dog will be well rewarded for minimal effort now to save a fortune in vet bills and health problems down the road. And I'll leave a link to my favourite neem powder and coconut oil in the description below. Today 96% of pet parents around the world are feeding a dry commercial pet food diet, while 9 out of 10 dog health problems today are as a direct result of the diet a dog eats, including foul dog breath. Food is the key to life. And what goes into your dog's food bowl makes all the difference, especially with canine tooth and gum disease. Diet is also directly responsible for health issues such as natural vitamin and ionic mineral deficiency as kibble only contains synthetic alternatives not well absorbed by dogs. And there's allergies, blocked anal glands, diarrhea, yeast infections, ear infections, skin and coat problems, hot spots, arthritis and digestive issues. So switching your dog to a raw food diet goes a long way to solving the problem. But if you don't want to change your dog's existing kibble diet, I created the Healthy Kibble Diet to help reclaim your dog's bad breath from the long-term feeding of kibble. Once you begin a simple plan of adding some extras to your dog's meals, your dog's gastrointestinal system gets the vital help it needs to function better with increased gut flora health, better self-cleaning, increased nutritional uptake, less oxidation, better digestion, better rehydration, better hormone production, and greater immunity to disease, and with better skin health and much improved breath, gums, and teeth. It works wonders for your dog very quickly, as within days you'll notice positive improvements. And you'll see a link to a video in the description below explaining more about the healthy kibble diet. As many pet parents who come to me for help have found, kibble sustains their dog's life, but it doesn't provide enough protection from many day-to-day -day health problems, or that foul doggy breath and gum disease. For an across-the-board whole-body health boost, the healthy kibble diet ensures your dog is getting more of the vital nutrients missing from a regular kibble diet, and provides a timely opportunity to clean up some basic chronic health problems, fix gum disease, while adding several quality years to your dog's life. And if you found this video useful, please remember to like it, share it with friends and subscribe so you'll always be up to date on all the latest videos that I do. Until next time, I'll see you then. Bye for now.